Hey T heads, this is Don and Celine from Mayleaf in this video, the blind tasting challenge. So mm -hmm. every sort of festive period, we tend to do a challenge. Usually it's me sort of hosting the challenge with yeah. Lucy or with the Mayleaf team last year. Exactly. And I was talking to Celine and she said, this no. time, this time <laughs> I have to do it. So I said, I don't mind doing the higher or lower game. If you've seen that game, it's when you have successive teas and you've got to figure out if it's higher or lower in price. But you said no, huh? No, no. We gotta go more challenging, you know. Mm. We gotta go a bit more devious. I think. I, I sense. I sense. I sense. <laughs> I'm gonna say deep, but okay, devious if you like. I sense that you're trying to stump me here. So what do yeah. I have to do then? This so, is a proper blind tasting. Yeah. So what I was thinking is, it's gonna be too easy for you if you see everything. So yeah. you're gonna go full blind. Okay. On the five different tea tastes. So I can't even see the colour of the liquor. No Is that why I've got liquor. little lids on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks a bit weird, <laughs> but it's it's uh, very important. Okay, so I can't see anything. Yeah. I'm meant to sip the tea yeah. and guess what? I uh, guess the type and the origin. Origin type, okay. <laughs> and, so and, and do I have to guess price point? Um, okay, so I was thinking with the price point, I think it makes more sense if you then see the leaves. Okay, so I taste blind. <laughs> I get, get I I lock in my type yep. and origin. Yep. And then afterwards, I get to see the leaves. I get yep. to sort of see how many mistakes I've made. Yeah. <laughs> and and then what? How am I am I doing? Uh, most expensive to least expensive. What am I doing? So yeah, most expensive to least ex expensive. But then I think you can choose which you prefer the most. Okay, so, so yeah, because they're not necessarily the same thing. So, everything. <laughs> so basically I need to order it in terms of my preference yeah. and order it in terms of price. Yeah. No pressure, okay. All right, so <laughs> this is so this is how it's gonna roll. So you're gonna, we're gonna basically pause. You're gonna do the brew. I've yeah. got a blindfold on, so I can't see the brew. You're gonna do the brew. Yeah. You're gonna pour it into these quite bizarre, but quite cute capped cups. Yeah. And then we're gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so blind tasting. Let's see how I fare. This could be an, an interesting experiment for you to do out there as well, yeah. because certainly visuals, and looking at the leaves, um, smelling the leaves, all of that information is vital information when assessing the oh quality of tea. So just having the liquor and not even being able to see the liquor, that certainly is a challenge. It might be something that you could do at home as well. All right, let's start with tea number one. Okay, so you're seeing the wet leaf. Uh, you, we're gonna get pictures of the dry leaf and you're gonna, uh, we're gonna get captions written up of what the tea is. So you already know what I'm about to drink. Are the liquors now covered? Yes. Okay, I can take my blindfold off, yeah? One, one sec, one sec, one sec. Sorry, I was just uh, showing yeah. the leaves and it took a while. Yeah, move it out the way. <laughs> okay, good. Annoyingly, I can't, can't smell it. I can definitely look, yes? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. My, my little hats are on. Oh, this is the first time I've had to do this. Okay, here we go. So I've got to close my eyes while I'm drinking. drinking. Yeah. Cheers. I'm allowed to smell. Ooh. Oh, I smell age. Okay, from the smell, it smells like either an aged oolong or an aged black. Wait, hold on. Did you pick teas from our collection, from that we sell? Do we pick <laughs> some? But where did you get your? I, I, I'd rather not say. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. I just, you know, it might just be too easy otherwise. Mm. Okay, not that this is a good tea. So, so I'm hoping you're not going to give me some some ugh teas. This is a good tea. Smooth, um, um, rounded, a little sourness on the sides of the tongue. Ooh, nearly saw your liquor. Um, definitely, it's an aged. It's definitely an aged oolong. I'm I'm convinced. I mean, I'd be amazed if it's not. It's an, it's got a little bit of a sort of a pencil shaving notes to it which i'm not mm. particularly a fan of yeah i agree but um that little um brief glow of sourness i yeah. like yeah i like that fermented taste mm. um it's definitely smooth it's definitely got some years on it 
I'm not gonna say much because I feel like I'm gonna. Mm. <laughs> Do I only get one cup? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you really are being harsh today. Um, it has like a little bit of a plasticine sh pencil shaving note, like a sort of a clay workshop plasticine, but like oh not God, clay. Oh my God, now you said that. That's all yeah. I taste. Which I don't particularly what? like. So I'm, it's definitely not one of our Mayleaf teas. I'd be surprised if this is a private collection one, but possibly. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've got to say what it is, right? So it's an aged oolong for sure. Um, origin. Oh, I can smell the empty cup, right? Yes. yes. You were about to say no. <laughs> How rude. Okay. Oh, God. Sugary. Really nice smell of the empty cup. Um, yeah, it's like dark brown sugar. It's not a Taiwanese oolong. Oh, it smells. So therefore, oh. for safety's sake, I'm going to say <clears throat> Fujian. For safety's sake, I'm going to say it's a Fujian aged oolong, like a, it might be one of those, it might be one of those old Tie Guan Yins that used to be strip, because that's a classic <laughs> that I do in my, in my blind tastings. Very, very dark sugar molasses. I mean, the smell yeah. of the empty cup is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, 100%. That is a beautiful smell. Really rich smell. and caramel, slightly fudgy, a little bit of vanilla, mm. sort of very sort of dark fudge though. Yeah. Sort of crystallized fudge, you know, very, very yeah. dark. Tasting notes on point. Oh. Are you sure Muscovado. about what you've said though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm sure. That's oh. that's an oh. aged oolong. So tea number one is an aged oolong from yeah. uh Fujian, probably and she. Mm. All right. Tea number two. Okay. Now I'm about to brew the tea. Oh, that one leaves a nice taste in my mouth, actually, I'd say. Okay, perfect maybe it's, water. Maybe it is private collection. <laughs> You're like, oh, there's a weird pencil. Yeah, but I only got notes. one, you know, and did you give me the, because you brewed two cups. Did you give me the first infusion or the second? Uh, the first. You see, <laughs> you know. I, got, I kind of thought about the second, but then Gosh. I just drank it. <laughs> Give me the first infusion That's of an aged oolong. That's only I'm just so started sorry. to get to know the world again. <laughs> Damn. Lucky it was a quite an easy one. Well, I, I hope. Yeah, you're very certain about that Yeah, one. that one. Well, it's such a classic. I mean, it's such a clear should be, sort of, uh, should be an interesting you know, result. <laughs> the more challenging ones are going to be the ones that are sort of very common teas, you know, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That. Would it though? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of Ti Kuan Yin's that you'd be like, oh yeah, I guess, finding that. Yeah, you know. I remember when I used to have a, a geography, no, a history teacher mm -hmm. who, like, he would always start the year by, like, asking us to look at a dictionary and, and challenge him to see if, if we could find a word that he wouldn't know or he wouldn't be able to decipher, you know, he wouldn't be able to figure out sort of what the meaning was. And we would always try to give him like these hard words, like started with Z or X or yeah. <laughs> But like um, after like, and he, he would always get it. And then afterwards um, he, you know, after we were sort of finished with, with him being our teacher, he said, the trick was that you should never give me the ones that X, Y, Z, because that's the ones that everyone always gives him throughout the years and <laughs> figured them out, you know? It's the, it's the ones that are sort of the common letters that are the harder ones, you that know? That makes so much sense. What a clever teacher. That's quite cool though, because yeah. you must have learned some crazy words. Oh, I've forgotten them all. Oh. <laughs> no, you pop up with some crazy words sometimes. I'm like, come, where the out, hell? When did you learn that? They come out of the vaults somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Are we ready yet? Oh, oh, lid. One second. I, I have to say, I admit now, I am smelling a little bit of chocolate going on here. Ooh. A little bit of dark chocolate I hope action. you are, because it's very potent. I mean, it's very there in the face. Hang on. Done. Ready? Ready. So, uh, have I got first or second infusion this time? I won't tell you, because that's going to give it away again. But just trust me, I gave you, you the right... Right what infusion. Mean, give it away. It's Why just, would you give it away? You, no. know, you know how some teas just oh, taste better in the right, first infusion right, right, than right, the right. second. I'm, I think you're just trying try to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, don't show me your liquor because I am sneaky like that. I will peek. Um, okay, here we go. Subconsciously peek inside. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah? 
Mm. Into into it. Quite into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate and rose. Mm -hmm. This is Chinese black tea. Mm. Chinese black tea. This is. This is again Fujian written all over it. Mmm. Wow. Tastes like a pretty good ginger may. Yeah, it's chocolatey, it's rosy, it's got a nice refreshing, yeah. you know, um, juiciness towards the end. What about the thickness? What is it like? You've given me second infusion, I think. Oh yeah? Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, there's... There's a sort of a slatiness to the end. I agree, yeah. That I'm not so into. Yeah. The initial hit mm. is a Souchong liquor stroke mm. ginger and may style thing. So mm. Tongmu black tea. Mm. Um, rose for sure. Dark chocolate for sure. Very, very impactful on the start. The finish is it leaves me a little bit wanting. But well, you want more? I feel like I want that rounded um, nature of the tea to persist a little bit more in the mouth. Right. It's a bit short. It's a bit dry. Mm. It's actually quite dry in the throat. Mm. So it's um, it definitely is. It's a decent quality black tea. In fact, it's probably a pretty high quality black tea. Mm. The question is, if is it? Oh. The question is, <laughs> if it's a ginger may which it could be, then I would say it's a, a, a medium quality ginger may. Mm -hmm. If it's like uh, um, like not trying to be a ginger may, yeah. then it's pretty good quality other type of tea from mm. potentially Tongmu. Do you not get I'm a bit really... stressed that it's like <laughs> I'm choosing, you know, some of our teas and you're like going... Well, we don't have ginger may this year, so you couldn't have picked may leaf ginger may. Mm. But it is good. I, I don't think it's quite up there with the standard mm. that you know. It yeah. has a it has a uh, too much of a catch. Mm. It's a bit too slaty, a bit too short, a bit too. The, the the juiciness is is nice. It, it's kind of vaguely sort of uh, lily sweet, but it's not. It's not that. Mm, so rounding. if it was if it was a ginger and may, then that would not be one that you would choose. No, but it would be close. Ooh. It would be close. <laughs> at least it's it it at least it exhibits the chocolate and rose character mm. rather than the sort of flowery malty character. Yeah. Um, so I mean, on it that does level, it does. Rosy, I can smell this now, can't I? Oh, the smell of the empty cup is great. It's kind of like a nougat smell. Too. Yeah, it's funky. N yeah, and it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of um. Rose, rose yeah. hip. Rose water. A uh, rose say. hip. Oh really? Like okay, it's so got a little water. bit of a, a fruit note happening. It's not in the lychee territory. Again, if if it was in that sort of lychee territory, then it would be viable. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a really it's a nice tea. It's I'm gonna say it's a black tea for sure. It's um, the question is would you? Yeah, I think it is a ginger and may. Mm. I think it is a ginger and may. I think it's mm. a decent quality ginger and may, but not up there. But I'm thinking, do we have that? I shouldn't think about what we have in our collection. <laughs> you probably went through our samples, didn't you? Anyway, look, uh, black tea, ginger and may. Um, from uh, Fujian, possibly Tongu. Okay, next. All right. <laughs> I just don't want to say too much. I feel like I'm like diving okay. in. All right, moving on. Okay. Okay, this is the leaves. So you're going to have a little caption oh. saying what this is, yeah? There we go. Mm hmm. And now back in this, this guy one. Just by the sound of those leaves. Oh hitting, my gosh! <laughs> hitting the guy one, they are larger leaf. Oh, oh there's more of a, <laughs> more of a, a little, uh, you know, yeah. a little tinkle <laughs> rather than sort of a, you know. Yeah, true. 
larger leaf. So we're probably talking about maybe raw pua, or it could be uh, yen cha, it could be a dan song. It could be many things. Could be true. Again, that ginger and mate, well, that tea left a nice <laughs> sweet taste in my mouth. You, you're Decided. definitely not hitting me with duds. I'm, I'm happy about that. I was fully expecting that you would uh, try to give me some gross tea. I mean, to be fair, like it, it was hard to taste what I was choosing because we didn't have much of that. Should okay, anyway, don't, that? don't say too much. Of what? <laughs> of tea. What do you mean? Of that tea? Of the tea. Of the teas. Of, of each of these teas? Yes. Oh, so that's given me a bit of a hint. <laughs> or does it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that laugh was awful. Yeah, it's disturbing how much you're enjoying this. <laughs> it's disturbing, yeah. You like it though. I know you enjoy it. Yeah, the do. harder I make it, the more you're like, who can I get this? <clears throat> it's true. Sucker for a challenge. And just so you know, I'm brewing quite strong because Good. you also like it. Yeah. Quite strong. Sure. You know the way I like it. Like it. Can I take my blindfold off? Yeah. Very, very soon. I'm just doing my cup. Thank you very much. Make sure they're capped. Okay, the question is here. Do you want... Oh. You decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know what? In this instance... I think it's better if I do it this way. Okay. Ready? No. Oops. Ay, 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 ay. Ready? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> it's weird behind that mask. Can um, I try it? Yeah, sure. It looks kind of comfy. Ah, uh, okay. Just don't cheat. Well, they're watching, so I can't. I do feel like a fly in this. Yeah. It's quite comfy though. Yeah, it's but the it's disturbing mask. when you take it off because then you get hit with bright light. Mm. Okay, here we go. Tea number three. Cheers. I'm feeling very confident so far. Hmm. Can you taste this one just to see if it's a, a similar brew? Because I'm now starting to wonder if I... Uh... Oh, the brew felt... Hmm. Okay. Um, see, now you've moved a little oh, bit more into a challenging area. This, this way um, Hold on, let me just uh, make sure I'm in focus here. Because I think I touched the phone. Okay, so you moved into a little bit more of a challenging area here. Because... This is... <laughs> because we both tasted. <laughs> There's a lighter tea. Um, no, this one's better. Let's go with that one. <laughs> um, stop switching it. <laughs> okay, so it's a lighter tea. Um, it is a green tea. It's a green tea. What about your leaves? Yeah, Moises. but yeah, that's true. Oh. But 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 you can get larger green teas like Jade Arrow or. Oh yeah, that's true. But it's not that. Mm. This has a sort of um, potatoiness mm. to it. Mm. It has a sort of starchy potatoiness to it, yeah. which I always associate with um, medium to lower quality green teas. Oh yeah. Or, or at least to say that they're green teas that are the pickings are larger pickings, which ah makes sense with the sound. Yeah. <laughs> larger leaf pickings. Because those larger leaves tend to have a little bit more starchiness to them, ah. you get this sort of a little bit more of the earth, you know, beet, beetroot, potato mm. note happening, mm. which is not unpleasant, but it's sort of like, it's not what I look for in a green tea. Yeah. I quite like that taste. I like it. There's only one tea that I really like it in, and that's melon seed green. Ah, true. Because melon seed green is then true. flash roasted, true. and there's this sort of great combination of like, yeah. it sort of warms it up. Yeah, but if you right. if you pick it like this, which I'm assuming they have, like slightly larger leaf, mm. and then you don't flash roast it, mm. it just is a bit too raw potatoey for me. Ah, so you don't think that was flash roasted? Flash, flush roasted. <laughs> I think it went through the kilgreen process, but I don't think it was flash roasted. Um, it's 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 decent. It's a good tea. I mean, it's a good tea. It's a good it's a good green tea. It certainly isn't a dud. It certainly isn't some sort of ugh mm. tea. 
it's there's love being put into this tea for mm. sure. Yeah, it tastes it, smooth. It, it tastes, tastes smooth. smooth. It tastes very pure. It mm. tastes like the you know the it the balance is sorry. Well, you, you know, give me clues if you want. No problem. <laughs> um, it tastes like yeah. It tastes it tastes clean. Mm. You know, it tastes Definitely. like it's not some sort of like mm, industrial. Yeah. You know green tea from you know mass produced green it tastes like there's been love put into this tea mm. i'm just not a big fan of that picking style sure if i'm right and you guys have seen the leaves i haven't but if i'm right then it probably is a little bit bigger picking um you know slightly sort of yeah larger yeah. leaf darker leaf mm. um i wish i could look at the liquor <laughs> but it's a nice, easy sipping green tea. Very easy. I drinking. certainly wouldn't, you know, I, I certainly think it's a good tea and some people may really love that. Mm. And it's got a sort of like candy floss sweetness oh, to it yeah, at true, the end. True. And I bet this smells a bit candy flossy. Yeah. Yeah. It has a sort of candy floss and you know, um, uh, the, the, um, those, my sister used to have a rubber collection. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. Your mom still had it in yeah. the attic. It's you know like that smell of like rubber. I don't yeah. know. It's not like it's not like rubber smell. It's like slightly sugar. Like, yeah, sweet. it's like sweet smell. I actually love yeah. that smell. <laughs> it smells like sweet rubbers yeah. Yeah. and candy floss. Yeah. It's a it's a really nice, easy drinking tea, but not something that I would particularly be going for all the time because it's a little bit lacking that zing, that freshness, that you know. Mm the green tea oomph that I'm looking for. It's a, it's a yeah. smooth, easy drinker. Yeah. So it's a green you want tea. want a bit more. Where is this from? Flavor. Pump. Flavor pump. Pump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit more sharpness, a bit more, a bit more sort of clarity. Right. You know what I mean? It's sort of like, I feel like I want to focus the lens. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of, some people like the soft focus, but I like it to be a bit sharper. Yeah. You know? That's <laughs> yeah, such a good way to say it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say it's gonna say too much tone. I'm gonna say it's too much bokeh. I'm you gonna I'm bokeh. gonna say it's a Korean green tea. Really? Yeah, because Korean teas tend to have that larger leaf picking. Mm. It could be a Chinese green tea, but if it's a Luan Guapian, I would expect it to have a bit more warmth and fruitiness to it. Mm. So I'm gonna go green tea, Korea. Um, no Japanese. No, it's not. Taiwanese, no. It could be Chinese, but I'm trying to think where. Especially because I mean, it's, it's so close Chinese. to a Luan Guapian, maybe. Yeah, but the fact that you're trying to convince me that means it's... <laughs> I'm going to stick with Korea. I'll go with Korean green tea. I am Bosong green tea or Hadong, Hadong green tea. I'm trying to be specific, just to see if I can nail it. Uh, uh, that would be... Okay, I'm going for a Hadong... Green Korean tea. Yeah. I don't green where's green my tea. where's my blindfold? It's oh. next to you. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Is this our last one now? No, we're oh. on third. Oh. I mean, we're on fourth now. Okay. This is a really interesting game. I actually quite like the the, the not <laughs> looking not looking at the leaves <laughs> thing. It's sort of really just. Oops. Oh, oh, I hear spillage all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> That's my vibe. Okay, here you go. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's focused. Yeah. So this is the next tea. Oh. Oh, hello. Smell that. Ooh. Okay, where am I putting that guy one? Um, here. Yeah, that's where I'll put it. Are you ready? I am ready. Ah. Get accustomed to the light. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, here we go. Oh. Kind of just saw the liquor, but but You're ruining my game. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, I want to keep this one for a little bit. Um, this is a raw pua. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> movement. <laughs> it had a little minty hit, <laughs> and then it went to like a little to lilacs, mint to lilac, to a little bit of rolling tobacco. Mm. 
dried little oranges. Vanilla. Yeah, a little touch of very sort of deep vanilla. Mm. It's jasmine on the finish. Mm. Oh, flowery on the finish. Mm. Mm. Okay, so raw puers. See, now you're in that territory where like, how am I supposed to guess which one this is? Okay, so. First thing to say is it's definitely not a young raw puer. Why do you uh, say that? Well, it's the taste. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes deep, it tastes old. It definitely has a storage taste to it. I want to go through, I would love to taste like the third, fourth, fifth infusion, because I think that's when it's really gonna start to come alive. I would say age on this, Seven, eight, seven, eight years, I would say. Guessing the age. Well, that's, I can't. No, I like it. You know, what Do else it. can I guess? <laughs> it's got a, it's got, it's got a really nice oomph to it, mm. you know? It's yeah. got that sharpness. It's got that yeah. zeniness. Very orangey and jasmine, orange and jasmine on the finish. I agree that it feels like the second, like, no, sorry, I did first and second, but third, fourth infusion will mm. open it up. But to be fair to all the other teas, I think we shouldn't. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, but this is a raw pour, <laughs> you know, which is which is older. Um, although the first tea was old, I think. Um, makes me want to burp, <laughs> which is a sign that it's pretty potent. Do a massive burp no, on camera. No, I'm not. But but it is, it means it's, whoa, it's, it's active, this one. It is definitely active. So I'm going to say this is a, this is a potent, a potent brew. It's a, it's a raw pua, gushu. Let me smell that. Yeah. It's a raw pua, gushu, honey, really, really deep forest honey. Yeah, proper flowery. Super flowery deep sweet oh this is my bag this is my <laughs> this bag, is my bag. <laughs> oh it's so like orange orange and caramel isn't so it true. Yeah. it's just orange and it's orange zest like dried or oven baked oranges and caramel i so want to brew another oh, oh my god oh oh my gosh that smells so good that is um okay that's definitely one from our private collection that's a that's a oh. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Why are you rinsing the cup? I wanted to smell it some more. Oh, sorry. Now we got to move all on. Gone. We got it's to all move gone. on. Sorry. Okay, so what? Have I done it? <laughs> no, one more. No, but have I guessed this one? A, an aged raw yeah. pua, about seven or eight years old, Gushu. Oh, you didn't say the. Origin. Yunnan. Okay, you want me to guess a mountain? Yes. <laughs> that that stomach sensation. Ah. It's Bulang. I want to say it's Banjang because because that stomach sensation. I think it's I think it's a Banjang. You think it's a La Banjang? Yeah, because I know that stomach sensation. Just on three sips, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "What? Whoa! <laughs> that is a tea drunk tea. I want that one. That's how we're gonna finish the rest of this day. That tea. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I, I'd be amazed if you found one that I preferred more than that. Okay, so last tea. Last tea. Go for it. Show okay. show the peeps at home the leaves. Yep. Ah, oh, minty, sweet. It's just continuously changing. Love it. Love that tea. I'm trying to see if it's focusing. It there. Oh my gosh, it keeps on changing. Okay. The fact that it was that really honeyed empty cup and it made me want to burp. Mm -hmm. from three sips that's where i'm going with the banjan wow okay but it could be any really good potent gushu pur to be honest with you mm. but i do think it's it's uh i do think it's um west of shishwan bana i think it's a western bana tea Weird. that's that's what i'll say i'm not necessarily la banjan but a western bana tea okay you seem pretty certain well, i love that head. tea whatever that tea is I want it in my life. <laughs> guy one away. Guy one away. Take off. Take off. Okay, so the last tea. Last one. I've got to keep my memory together of what we've tasted. No, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, here we go. Last tea. Last tea. Okay. 
Okay. Buddy tea. Buddy. Mm. Malty buddy. Mm. Oh, it's a nice one. Yummy. Oh, it's a nice one. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. I'm very honeyed. I think this one would like Ooh, be it's a bit a tricky nice to tea. me. Mm. Well, my instinct was it's a Dian Hong, right? My instinct is it's a Yunnan um, mm. golden tea. Mm. It's very buddy. It has a lot of malt. But it sort of it sort of lacks some things and has other things. So mm. what it lacks is like a wild asamica bite. You know that yeah, the, sure. the those those asamica tea trees. Mm. It, it lacks that Oomph. that uh, foresty undertone, mm. uh, that foresty foundation. But what it gains. Oh, is a very smooth, honeyed, sweet. Very sweet. Wow, you've stumped me with this one. <laughs> it's a stumper. <laughs> oh, you've stumped me with this one. I don't know where I'm going with this. Well done, chapeau. <laughs> um, You're welcome. <laughs> it's just got like a really intense, like, Heather honey note. Heather honey is a good taste. You know, though. it's actually pretty perfect for that tea. Yeah. Yeah, it's heather honey. Yeah, really, really sweet. Very, very silky. Very, very syrupy. Yeah. Wow, it's a great tea. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Okay, what Shall else we? could it be? It's not Taiwanese. Um, it's not. I, I can't imagine that this is from. The subcontinent, India, Sri Lanka, no. What no. time did you go for again? It's black. black it's a black tea. It's a black tea with lots of buds, golden mm. buds. That's oh. that I know. Okay. I don't know the origin. Mm. I'm going to have to say Yunnan. Mm. But I kind of know I'm wrong. Mm. So what could be there? Where else could it be? Where else could it be? Where else could it be? Um... Could it be made from a sinensis variety? Could it be a, a, a bud tea made? They don't know. Fujinese bud tea? No. Um, you've done some trickster thing on me. I know you have. I know you've done some trickster thing on me. It's actually a very obvious one. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Again, smells like a first sniff. Like a, 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 a golden bud, a Yunnan Tian Hong, um, golden monkey, whatever it's an you know. Empty cup, man. But it's got much more. Yeah. Oh, it's got less and more. It's got a little bit of a more perfumed note to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, again, I want to say heather honey. I want to say like, like, um, yeah, like, like flowers, but like meadow flowers. Mm. Oh, I have to guess, don't I? You guess the, the the type. Yeah, I've got to guess the origin. Origin. Um, um, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I love how his mind is like. I don't want to say something that I don't believe in, and therefore yeah, it's a question I'm gonna, mark. <laughs> I'm going to say Yunnan, but it's wrong. I know it's wrong. <laughs> but where else would it be from? Such a perfectionist. Where else would it be from? Are you asking me? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm tortured here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's some obscure. It's some obscure black tea. Some. It's in our collection. It's in our private collection. Some obscure. <gasps> I know what it is. What? I know what it is. Why do you think it's from my private collection? Well, where would you have found samples? this tea? This Could is a be. no. This is not a sample tea. <laughs> this is something we'd have snapped up. I know what this is. Why do you think it is? Can I? Do you have any more? And what's the taste? No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say because it had that honeyed mead-like quality. I'm gonna say that this is a British tea. Wow. 
I think it's that super expensive. I think it's that super expensive um, um, golden tip tea from from Scotland. Will your will, will your memory serve you right? Or will yeah, your because I remember that really because it was gifted to us by um, a, a viewer out there, um, <laughs> and uh, and it had that really honey mead like quality. Why wow, you you remember the actual tea from? Because I remember writing to him saying, "Yeah, it tastes so much like mead." Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Scottish. That is black tea. bold, Scottish Mister. black tea. That is. It's actually not that bold when you taste it because it is. It's different enough. Okay, so do I get to look at these leaves yes, now? Okay, you can look finally. At the leaves. So, so show me number one. Number uno. Number one. Yes, look at that. Okay, so it was not ball rolled. Mm -hmm. So this is it's. It's not a yencha, no. No. Oh, it smells a bit yencha like suddenly, but. Oh, yeah. Oh! It smells like an aged yencha. Yeah, it oh. does. Oh, but you're saying, you know, okay, good. Okay, so. No, wait, you said it before, so no, it doesn't change. Anyway. I know, that's true, okay. So <laughs> I'm going to go, this is an old, quite an old, and she uh, aged black. That, that's a, what aged you said, right? I know, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, that's what you said. Next. Am I telling you the results? Or no, after? no, 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 afterwards. Okay. So this was uh, this was the ginger and may. Number yeah. two, yeah, this is the one that you said yeah. is ginger and may. Chocolate, I'm sticking with that ginger and may. Yep. Yeah. Number three. Number three. Ah, oh, this was that big leaf green. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow. That is you the big leaf green. You actually worked that out. I was like, yeah. That's mad. But the taste was like Korean yeah. big leaf green. That's what green. I'm saying with that one. Yeah. Okay. Four. Ah. Oh. Oh, that one's just just getting started. That one. Yeah, that okay. one's. Okay, um, so that's my mm. the raw pure gushu that's aged. Yeah, it looks about maybe it's a bit younger, but I thought about seven or eight years. And this one, oh, it doesn't look that buddy. Oh, maybe I got this wrong. Oh no, yeah, there's a lot of gold there. There's a lot of gold, but it's, you see what I mean? It's different. It's not a samica, mm. or at least it's not the same kind of a samica as in Yunnan. Mm. It's got much finer. It's much finer. Why are you smiling? Have I got mm. it wrong? <laughs> All right, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to do favorites yeah. and then... Higher and then, or lower. And then price. Yeah. Okay, so favorites... Yeah, I, I would already go, know your favorite. I would go, this is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. So the poor. Can you can we do it like, so you keep them in the same... Because I'm going to forget which tea is which. No, um, I won't, don't worry. Okay. So that's my favorite. Yeah. That's my second. Yeah. That tea is bomb lick. Mm. Um... Um, ooh, ooh, I would say mm, not that I didn't like it, but I just think it's probably you know the least favorite. Mm. Uh, this is a difficult one. Oh, I prefer the ginger and may over the no, um... I'm saying it's a difficult one, <laughs> but it was that little pencil. I think I feel like I need to taste another infusion of this, but we can't, we have no time for that. Yeah. But I feel like if I drank more of this, I would probably prefer it. In the end, really? Yeah, because I think that that plasticini pencil shading note will will dissipate. Well, it will it will be balanced out by other notes ah. that will come. So these are my order of favorites: the green, the the black, the oolong, the uh, the black, and see how light the color is. It's just, that is a unique tea. Yeah, and uh, the Yunnan. Yeah, I would do those two yeah, definitely for my favorites. Yeah, and then what about this? This one, I think I would switch those over. You would switch those over, yeah. but you'd keep this one as your least yeah, favorite? Yeah, because although it's a very easy drinker, um, I feel like it could have a bit more oomph okay. to it. Okay, all right. Now, in terms of price, yeah. I do recall that <laughs> that one was if you're right. <laughs> ridiculously expensive, if I'm right. <laughs> so I would say it's that, that. Even though that you think is an aged pua from Lao Ban Zhang. Oof. Interesting. Oh, it's gonna be so close between these. You are tricksy trickster. No, but I think you're gonna play the game of like, you would never have thought of the black tea. I think that's what you're doing. So I'm gonna do that. Stop thinking of my game. I'm gonna man. do what I've got to, get into the psychology. Um, okay, so now it's a question of, um, which is more expensive? This this ginger and may. Mm. So ginger and may would be probably more expensive generally. Mm. 
but this is an aged oolong. Ooh, difficult one. Difficult one. Hmm. I am going to go with... This way around. Mm. Okay. Reveal time. All right. Finally, put me out of my misery. Okay, so number one. The, one, number the first one. one that you tasted. Right, this one. That I said yeah. was an anxi oolong. Yeah, that aged oolong thing. You are spot on. Yes. It is an aged oolong. Yes. <laughs> from anxi. How old? And it's 30 years old. Oh, I should have switched them. I knew it. <laughs> Okay, all right. And it's, uh, do you want to know the price? Oh yeah, go on then. It's 0.63 cents per gram. So 0.63, no, no, 0.63 no, dollars, 63 cents a gram. 63 cents a gram. 63 cents a gram, okay, yeah. so yeah, all right. Okay. Mm, I, might, I might be right then. <laughs> okay, go on. Number two. Yeah. Is number two was this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that one that you said was Jin Jin Mate. Yeah. Again, spot on. I mean, that's like insane, oh, but okay. yes. And oh, you can get you can smell that. yeah you can get the rosiness like when you were talking about it yeah, okay so i feel like it was a bit too easy just for give you. me the price give me the price 10 cents per gram 10 cents per gram i know it's shocking isn't 10 it 10 cents yes. per gram it's, yes super cheap <laughs> i was like so i got it wrong so these should be yeah. switched oh. so you got the pricing wrong no. but i would think the same i would be like that's definitely gonna okay. be quite pricey All but right. it's super cheap um All so right. that was uh, a, a sampler okay number three this is interesting so i said a green hadong green tea hadong green, green i'm tea. sorry you got that uh, one wrong <laughs> bugger. but it was a green tea well so, yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> got that it's right chinese green no, no i can't believe that georgia are you trickster yeah yo. georgia okay Georgian so georgian tea. green tea okay yeah. and the price 19 cents per gram oh so the price is more expensive than this yes no this is like the cheapest one i think say what yeah literally <laughs> the ginger may is this from a sample yes we didn't pick it no what <laughs> it must have improved with age but it did have that slating yeah okay all right yeah so i'm just ordering them now by 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 price <laughs> okay what? Okay. Okay, number four. Yeah. We've done three, yeah. Uh, is a raw poor. Yeah, which one? And it's an aged one and it's... It's a Yes. Yes! I knew it, the burps, I mean, the burps. amazing, because like finding out the, the mountains... So is it the cake that we were given? No, this is Bloom Buster. Bloom this is our Bloom baby. Buster. So you did throw in one of ours. <laughs> yeah. Bloom Buster. I had to, okay. innit? And price? Oh, what was the price? Uh, of 65 cent per gram. Yeah, but it would be more expensive now because yeah. that was the price. I'm assuming you looked at the price previously, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 60, what is it? 65 cent per 65. gram. And what was this one? At the time what was this I one? saw it. And this one was 63 And what's the 65? 65 yeah okay so yeah all right yeah all right and and then the last one was a black tea it's the scottish one <laughs> yes. i know it is it is i know it is I was like, are you kidding me you're <laughs> gonna get that one right no, i mean is. that was my yeah. like <laughs> yeah that, that's the scottish tea i can't believe you remember the taste yeah, notes no, of that one that. it was a great tea it's a great tea my god from my recollection there's a tiny amount of this stuff but anyway and that's two dollars two dollars a gram so yeah. that's a lot more expensive so hold on so just yeah. so i got this one right i got all of the others right in terms of the type and origin yeah apart from this one yeah which i got wrong yeah um and the um order of of the uh, price, price i got actually quite badly wrong because i <laughs> yes i did it that way right yeah so I got three of them wrong. I, I guessed these two correct. Yeah. So yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Even though I tried to trip you up with these ones. Yeah. So that's $2 a gram, 65 cents a gram, 61 cents or something a gram. 63. 63. That's, that's, uh, how much was this one? 19. 19 and this is 10. Yes. Are you sure about yes, that? Yes, sir. That's insane. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. Blind tasting. Try out yourself. It is a definitely a fun game, I have to say. These little caps on um, on cups seem to work. No cheating out there. No cheating. So <laughs> you, you did very well. Thank you. I, I think I need to up 
the level next time no, again. No, I, I thought think, that was hard enough. I but think that that's is perfectly not. fine. No, the diff. I think to make it more difficult, oh you should pick teas that are not in our collection, because I would not have gotten that one. Oh yeah. I if see. I didn't remember. Yeah, but that was ages ago. We tasted that one ages yeah, ago. Yeah, but but I it's think. it is it is quite a, a specialty. Yeah. Um, but still, king of the mountains for me. <laughs> and what I'm going to be hitting next. I was excited about that one. Yeah, is yeah. that one. Anyway, that's it, Tea Heads. Check out our other videos, Taste Our Teas, wherever you are in the world by browsing Mayleaf.com and come visit us if you're ever in London. Other than that, this is Celine and I'm Don from Mayleaf. Thank you for being part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags. Keep drinking the sublime stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye. Bye.